851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation, the Boeing 777X, an aircraft which is yet to officially fly, but nevertheless has been talked about constantly since we got our first pictures of the plane a few weeks back. Since that point, we've seen the wingtip, wheels, and more all come together, and this has resulted in the hype only increasing. The 777X is a long-range twin-engine passenger aircraft, which will be the successor to the current 777 series, an aircraft which has been around for over two decades now. The 777X features various improvements which allow it to have better fuel efficiency and more added benefits. However, the classic 777 that we've come to know also has a freight variant, one that despite its slow start over the years has become quite popular. The 777F is a cargo version of the 777 passenger aircraft. It specifically shares a number of features with the 777-200LR. The aircraft has achieved a maximum payload of 102,000 kilos, which is quite similar to what the Boeing 747-200F had. But the 777F in saying that has just the two engines and is therefore more efficient. As the cargo market has definitely soared, inevitably the aircraft has become more popular. Will we ever see Boeing release a 777X freighter? In today's video, I am going to explore that very question. I'll try to discuss the positives to a newer 777X freighter in this video and outline my thoughts as we progress. We do have to focus heavily on the performance of the current 777F to get a gauge for whether there's actually a need for a new freighter aircraft. Introduced with Air France in 2009, the 777F is relatively new, despite it sharing technology from the 1994 777-passenger aircraft. This makes the oldest possible age of a 777F just 9 years. In the grand scheme of things, this is far from old, as we can see some freighters fly for upwards of 20 years. Another factor to take into consideration is that the 777F is actually still receiving orders to this day. During the 2018 Farnborough Air Show, CargoLogic and DHL placed orders for the aircraft. Ignoring these orders, the aircraft has amassed a total of 200 in its time, while only delivering around 150. This would mean, if we took the average flying years into account, that the 777F could still be around for potentially another 30 years, or 3 decades. Realistically though, the 777X freighter would have been released long before that, and one would even start to question how prominent the unreleased 777X passenger version would be at that point in the industry. So we know that the 777F is a relatively popular aircraft, and is also at the same time quite new, but what does the future hold? That's where we'll now head in this analysis, the future. The air cargo outlook for the next 20 years is most definitely bright, with traffic rising by 4.2% and 980 deliveries of new aircraft in that time period. In fact, according to Boeing and many reports, the cargo sector is continuously growing, and year in year out is seeing results that many would dream of. Taken from Boeing's market outlook, they say in the first quarter of 2018, air cargo growth continued with an above trend growth rate of 5.8%. You heard me say though the need for 980 deliveries of new aircraft to manage the growth. However, there's a very important part I left out, and for good reason, as it deserves a lot more discussion. That is the estimated 1,600 conversions from passenger aircraft to freighter aircraft. This is where the 777-BCF comes into play. The BCF is essentially a converted passenger 777-200. This aircraft is one that Boeing have been eyeing for some time now. And as they begin to see Airbus do this sort of approach with their A330s, Boeing may want in on the action. Over the years though, we've seen more and more airlines retire their 777s, but no cargo airline has actually opted for the BCF program. Instead, they've just gone for the stock standard brand new 777F. A problem identified with this conversion though was the CF floor beams. This problem, while probably sounding minimal, is actually quite a large one, and in fact results in the cost for converting the aircraft to absolutely skyrocket, and in the end, not really being worth it. It does therefore beg the question as to whether it's truly feasible. Are there really any benefits to this BCF though, on the whole? There actually are a few, however most notably and the one I want to focus on is the price for this sort of aircraft in favour of let's say a 777X freighter. 
As the aircraft is a converted passenger aircraft, the price will drop drastically from a brand new 777F or even potentially a brand new 777XF. It allows more cargo companies with this lowered price to actually operate the aircraft. Ignoring this though, the 767F has actually been tracking along well and is for many the perfect option. How does this impact the launch of the 777X freighter though? Well, from this, it's become quite evident that while demand is there, the current portfolio of aircraft from Boeing is, well, quite incredible. The immediate need for a 777XF simply isn't there. So you just heard me say that the need for the aircraft isn't there, but is there demand or any sort of demand in the industry for this sort of aircraft? Partially, I'd say. Only one customer has actually expressed their desire for a freight variant, and that's been from Lufthansa Cargo, who actually operate the 777F. The developments came out in February of this year and have not really formed into anything. Lufthansa Cargo noted that a 777XF would have been of interest because of their departing MD-11Fs, which are set to leave the fleet by 2024. The head of Lufthansa Cargo back in February said that he would like to see a cargo version of the 777X in the next five to six years. Of course, this would tie in perfectly with the departure of the MD-11F. If this was to actually occur, it'd be four years after the launch of the 777 and one or two years after the 7778. Not a long time when we're comparing the 777 to the 777F, which as stated was some 15 years. If demand is there, then sure, Boeing should go and launch the aircraft. However, I can't help but think it'd be more useful, say, in 2030 or really, really late 2020. This is when a number of the 777Fs would begin aging and cargo airlines would be looking at replacements for the future. It would also ensure that the technology would not be too old and improvements could be made from the passenger version, which by then would have had a decade flying in our skies. Does Airbus fit into the release of a 777X freighter though? At this point, Airbus don't have a perfect alternative to the 777F and have actually been lacking in their portfolio of freight aircraft, as honestly, they have very few. That's something Airbus is looking to change, with the first A330 P2F or passenger to freighter aircraft being delivered to DHL. The first delivery gives the A330s, which would otherwise be headed to the graveyard or for parts, a new lease of life and saves customers a lot of money. As Airbus never released their expected A380F, they struggle to compete with the likes of the 7478 or 777F. And this is another factor to consider. If you don't have much competition, there isn't a huge need to release something as quickly as let's say Boeing and their NMA. Boeing estimates that their 777BCF would only offer around 11% more volume than that found on the A330 P2F. It also have just around 700 kilometers more range with 37% more payload rate. These differences, while being noticeable, place them as a perfect replacement for the MD-11F aircraft, which as I've detailed, will be leaving fleets sooner rather than later. I've probably flown quite a bit of numbers at you now, so hopefully I didn't confuse you all too much as that was far from my aim. What I'm more simply trying to say is that the 777BCF and the A330 P2F are almost the perfect replacements for the MD-11F. Short term though, as both of these aircraft types well, it would already have aged airframes. It wouldn't simply be a fix for, let's say, the next 40 years. No doubt by then we would have seen the rumoured A330 Neo freighter and also the 777X freighter. However, until then, either the 777F, potential 777BCF, and the A330 P2F will definitely control the market, among other aircraft in both of their portfolios. Another consideration is the 787F or the A350F. These have also been discussed by many people, and many believe that the 787-10 would be the perfect aircraft to base a freighter version off if Boeing wanted a 787-F. But then we actually encounter a problem. The 787-10 would be very close to a 777-F in regards to space. So if they opted for the 787-10F, there wouldn't really be a need for a 777-XF. It would no doubt whatsoever have a cheaper asking price and many airlines would not see a difference that would be worthy of paying the X amount for the 777XF. Realistically though, the next jump up would be the 7478F and we just wouldn't see the 777 one. 
However, if Airbus decided to launch their own A350F, let's say, based off the Dash 1000, we actually could most definitely see Boeing come back with their 777XF, and I feel like this is realistically the only time we would see them release it very, very soon. Otherwise, it will be quite some time. The release of the aircraft would actually be based entirely off the success of the A350 freighter. If their current 777F is still actually tracking well, even with the release of the A350F, well then there's really no need to abruptly release it and rush the process. So what's the bottom line from all these discussions and my overall opinion? The bottom line is that the 777X freighter is no doubt a potential aircraft to be released in the future. I'd say it's 60% likely one day we will see it. With all the market outlook, it just makes sense. However, movements from Airbus and also developments of other cargo planes or conversions from passenger to cargo will also no doubt have an overall impact on the eventual release date of the freighter. My opinions, as I've said, is that no doubt we will see the aircraft. I might be wrong, but with the growth of the sector, it just ties in perfectly. And most of all, especially as a 777F replacement. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to thank you very much for tuning in to a bit of a longer video on the channel. I know some people really do enjoy these videos, so every so often I try to make them a bit longer, just for your enjoyment. They're not going to be every single video, because not everyone has the time, but I appreciate anyone that stuck to the end of this one. I look forward to you all joining me in the next one.